What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, Crypto Universe. Today is Monday, October 16th. In today's video, we have to witness a historical event that just happened yesterday, and that was the recent announcement regarding the Utes NFT collection that was on Polygon that now it is able to be migrated over to the Ethereum blockchain. This is huge news because, again, this is a huge technical accomplishment from the D-Labs team. It's not easy to migrate any NFT collection through different blockchains. So this is something magnificent. I cannot wait to cover it in this video. But make sure to stick around to the very end of the video because I want to share with you, if you're new to this community, if you're buying any Utes on Polygon, well, we're going to show you in a very easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to migrate your Utes from Polygon over to Ethereum. But before we do, we have to cover some of the recent news and also the process of what happened before the migration. So with that said, be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So how many of these UNFTs have actually migrated over to Ethereum? Well, approximately 7,902. Now again, the collection has roughly around 15,000, a little give or take between 14 and 15,000 of these NFTs in circulating supply because we have YouTubes that are still on Solana, and then we also still have some other unminted UNFTs out there as well. But nonetheless, half of the supply, more than 50% of the Utes NFT collection on Polygon has migrated over to Ethereum, as you can see here. Now, in terms of the floor price, floor price is around 0.78 Ethereum. So it's pretty much very similar to what we're seeing on Polygon. So let's go ahead and go over to the marketplace on the Polygon, as you can see right here. Again, around 0.7 nine ethereum now there's a little bit less of these nfts right now on utes which we will talk about because there is some incentive and the reason why people need to migrate their nfts especially within the next 24 hours now there's only 5,000 of these nfts on the floor but before we even get there we got to talk about the announcement that happened this is the actual trailer that released from the d labs xyz twitter page now there are three different steps there is reset which we already went through reset is step one Basically, we brought all of our DGOT NFTs to season one, but also we're starting all over again. But now we're at the part of number two, which is Unity or Unify. Now, part two is really bringing the Utes NFT collection over to DGOT on the Ethereum blockchain. That's the Unify section. And once that Unify section does happen, once the entire collection of Polygon migrates over to Ethereum, or at least the majority of that collection, then we start the last step, which is the third step, and that is called Clarify. Clarify is a section that talks about how Utes, DGODs, Bitcoin DGODs, and the DUST token, what they all have in store together. And that will show us what really we have something to be excited for. So that is step number three that is coming very, very soon. So let's go and look at the marketplace in terms of Utes on Ethereum. Right now, we are seeing, surprisingly, buy orders with this NFT collection. And this is because a lot of Ethereum NFT bulls and whales now have exposure to buy this with just Ethereum. They don't need to buy this collection with wrapped Ethereum, sending their Ethereum to the Polygon blockchain. That already is a learning curve. Now people don't have to do that anymore. They just buy it straight up on Ethereum, on the Ethereum blockchain, on their MetaMask, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, when we go over to the analytics, you can see that you're not going to expect huge price volatility to the upside or downside, because right now we still haven't had the full collection there. As you can see here, there's still multiple buy orders, probably around 0.9 Ethereum, but a lot of buy orders between 0.75 to 0.8 if you haven't already seen. Now, most of the offers that people are bidding for these NFTs is around 0.7 Ethereum. So obviously people are hoping that you will paper hand your NFT, but it looks like there's not a lot of those NFTs being bought up as of right now but the majority of listings is around 0.9 and also 1.1 Ethereum. Now, when we look at the owner distribution, sooner or later, between 11 to 25 NFTs, this will soon become the 1%. So if you wanna know if you're a part of the 1% of people who own these NFTs, you have to own 11 or more. Now, if we look at the amount of unique owners, we can spot Free Lunch Capital, who is number four in terms of unique owners because he has 101 of these NFTs, which is absolutely a great steal because he ends up owning a ton of D-Gods. If you 
don't know, this guy's a huge whale and D-Gods is not cheap. Now, let's go ahead and talk about one of the things that Frank retweeted, which is free lunch capital. Now, what he tweeted was free lunch just tweeted about Utes. Are we back? And the reason this is interesting is because Free Lunch Capital is a huge bull for D Gods, but now he's getting more exposure to Utes because it's absolutely exposed to the Ethereum whales. So this could just be the start of an accumulation phase. Now, when we look at the migration, which Ute was migrated first? Well, yesterday we started seeing that there was this one specific NFT of Ute that was called 10968. This is the very first one. And who was that that ended up migrating their Ute? Well, the team ended up doing that. And why? Because this person specifically owned this Ute. His name is Leonard Mainnet. Now, apparently, he made the Ute NFT front end himself. He does all of our front end engineering solo. He's also the one of the best human beings I've ever worked with. You are the greatest of all time. Now you have some clarification of why this specific Ute was migrated first. Now, we gotta talk about the process of after that first Ute was migrated, they, the team decided to migrate more, around 15. How long did it roughly take? And this is very important for everybody to understand. For those 15 Utes that migrated during the test, it was around an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So now you can understand why that's important. Now, the announcement did say on their Utes page that the Utes bridge was live for Ethereum migration. So if you don't know, make sure to join the Twitter page that's titled this, Utes NFT. Please be careful to avoid any scam links that are out there right now. And the link is provided below, bridge.utes.com. Now, also, if you do it within the first 24 hours, like right now, if you migrate your U NFT right now from Polygon over to Ethereum, it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay any gas. They take care of all those fees for you. This is why it's really important to have a team that understands what customers, what holders want. We are sick of paying for fees. We are sick of paying for gas, especially because Ethereum gas fees are absolutely astronomically outrageous, but they took care of that. And that's why you're seeing the long duration of time between an hour to an hour and 15 minutes because they wanna make sure there's the best optimal price point for the gas fees to be reduced so that they are absolutely free. Now, when we talk about this, which is a 33.3% tax, this is gonna happen after October 22nd. Today is October 16th. Now, this is going to be applied to the Utes that are gonna be traded on Polygon. So that's why they encourage everybody to migrate their NFTs within the next 24 hours. Why? Well, not just because of the 33.3% tax that's gonna happen on Utes on Polygon, but also the gas is gonna be free, but also 10 Utes will be randomly distributed to different wallets within the next 24 hours. So if you migrate your NFT right now, you could possibly get a chance to win a Ute NFT. Now, one of the last things I wanna share with you is that Frank said on his Twitter page, on a real note, I know our communities feel well equipped for the next cycle. It's one thing to have exposure to different crypto coins. It's another to actually understand multiple native crypto ecosystems. D-Labs community spans between Bitcoin, which is regarding Bitcoin D-Gods, Ethereum, which is D-Gods and Utes, Polygon, which is Utes on Polygon, and Solana, which is also D-Gods and Utes on Solana. That was really the birthplace of where D gods and Utes came from. But again, some of those NFTs are really high in price, but who knows, maybe you get a great entry point if you're the case. So now that you're at the end of the video, we're gonna share with you how to migrate your U NFT from Polygon over to Ethereum. Let's begin. Now you're gonna sign into your page and you're gonna make sure to log in your Polygon account on your MetaMask. Right now, I have 11 of these NFTs on this specific wall. I have many other U NFTs on a different wall. Once you do that, it's gonna ask you to unstake all your NFTs if you haven't already. You have to approve of that transaction as well in case you're on a ledger or cold storage wallet. Once that does happen, then it will allow you to bridge your NFT and then you have to press confirm. Once you do that, then the bridge will ask you to pretty much approve of the Matic fee, which you will have to confirm. Once that happens, this will pop up. It will say preparing bridge. You will wait for this specific one, proceed to waiting room. Once that button does turn solid blue, you will then click on that button and then it will start the process. And you will now be in the waiting room. It will say you're in the waiting room. It will say just chill. Your Utes are in transit. You can leave this page and come back later, which means you can literally close this window, leave your computer, and then you can reopen the page or come back to your computer later. But as you see right here, it says it's 59 minutes that took for my NFT 
to start its migration phase. So to find out once your NFTs have literally been confirmed from Polygon over to Ethereum, you will see this right here, success. And that means that your U NFTs are no longer on the Polygon blockchain. They're now on Ethereum. Now the staking mechanism for U NFTs is not available as of right now because the staking mechanism has been halted for Ethereum U NFTs. The team has announced that sooner or later, there's going to be an announcement regarding the third stage, which is clarify, is going to tell us what our points are going to be used for along with everything else within the DLAPS ecosystem. Now, last thing I wanna share with you is that this weekend, we're gonna see that the DGods PFP and also the Youth PFP is gonna be featured on the rear wing of the Williams racing car this weekend. It's gonna happen in Austin, Texas. This is for Formula One. You remember, there's an average around 1.21 million viewers that watch this race around the world. So that's absolutely exciting. And also in other exciting news, Phantom has integrated Utes NFT onto their platform, onto their app, so that you can follow their actual page. You can join their Discord or follow their website by just using their app. And it's absolutely amazing to see this integration. So with that said, what do I think around Utes? I definitely think Utes is undervalued. Who knows where the floor price is gonna be, but this video was here to just concisely show you how to migrate your NFTs and how we got here to this very point and what we could expect in the short to medium term in the next week or two. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down below and I cannot wait to read them. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and most importantly, join our Patreon page to get all of our alpha calls in both buy and sell orders on NFTs, cryptocurrencies, especially with everything regarding the Utes NFT collection. And with that said, I'll see you guys and girls next time.